Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, some of you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for April. Uh, we're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump into the start of the reading. It is timestamped. Okay, so if you just click on me uh, in the description bar below, uh, click on where it says, let the cards fall with an A. Click on where it says uh, start reading, then it will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to uh, see me shuffle on. Okay, as I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as there, you know, sometimes could be messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because uh, ultimately we, we create our own reality. So just give me a moment to just finish Finish laying this hard. So I'm going to take these in, and I'll be back. So Pisces, they start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys, okay? I'm picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you could always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Just check and see if my mic's on. All right, and of course, you, you know, feel free to check out your other readings, which should be pinned in the corner as we speak. All right, so we're, we're dealing with um, Pisces uh, being around fear. We've got some fear coming from your end. You know, there's a fear around commitment. Um, it, it kind of feels like when you get close to this person or when you get close to someone, because I don't feel like it's just with this person. I feel like this is something maybe that you're dealing with internally from whatever, maybe a part of your attachment styles, if you kind of look into that. Um, but there's definitely an emotional connection that you have with this person. But it feels like with that came a change which is represented by the, the wild card there. A change, um, and not a good change as well. Again, it's coming from this place of fear. It's like once you've gotten close to this person, once you've gotten emotionally close, uh, vulnerable, uh, you kind of uh, created this for you, which is getting in the way pretty much of what it is that you really want, which is that king of pentacles. You know, the doubts are coming in, the fears are coming in, the five of wands. Um, you know, because I feel like you want some form of high commitment with this person anyway. That high commitment could be just exclusively dating, marriage, whatever the case may be. But that's gotten in the way. Your person, you know, their focus is on just kind of moving ahead. They recognize this, the change in you, that death card there. But they were still drawn towards you, still kind of given to this, even though they recognized that change um but there is or was this sense of disappointment or just you know uh, yeah so i'm gonna say disappointment which kind of left them with this uh, awareness of them needing to make uh, some form of dis uh, choice yeah choice that i believe they made which brought them to a place of Sticking with this for now. This is kind of the recent past where you guys are coming from. Um, because right now, they're showing up as being stuck. It's like they're stuck. You're kind of, again, we're operating from a place of fear. So you're creating, you know, drama picking at this person when really it's coming from just what's coming up within you, this emotional vulnerable vulnerability that you feel which is kind of petrifying you, scaring you, bringing up this level of fear within you for whatever reason. Um, so you're creating drama, you're picking, you're nitpicking 
And that in itself, though, is stressing you out. You're aware of that. You're, you're aware of that, the fact that you do that or that you're doing that, which is why that nine is coming up. Feels like you're in this holding place because with the free there, in this holding place because you do want that ten of pentacles. You do want that ten of pentacles. Not sure how you're going to get it. So it's like you're in this this holding place. You don't have the answers ultimately. You, you don't see the ships coming in. This is someone who. This is someone who you I've been known for a while with the six there. Or you wanted to be with for a while. But again, we've got this indecisiveness here, this back and forth. I tend to interpret the chariot as this back and forth, indecisive type of energy. Um, we've got that there. Indecisiveness towards that happiness. Um, again, we've got the nine of swords it's stressing you out. It's causing you a lot of fear. You really got to look at maybe just your attachment styles. I'm not sure whether you've kind of come across that type of thing. And you're fearful avoidant, uh, dismissive avoidant, that type of thing. You look at your attachment styles and it makes sense as to why you do things. It will give you a wider scope, let's say that, and so just why you do things. Um, yeah, your person's coming up stuck. It's like they they got the hangman. It's like they're not able to move. Stuck in the head as well. You know, this is consuming their thoughts. Consuming their thoughts, starting to feel, think a bit reckless. I say reckless in the sense of... Mm -hmm. Ideas that are coming up that wasn't there before. You know, yes, there's this level of patience. We've got the Queen of Cups there, understanding. But ultimately, this person is thinking about, you know, what they want or what they built with you. But emotionally, that's shifting. That's shifting uh, Pisces, or the eight. So they're starting to emotionally turn their back. Because the Nine of Cups talks about emotional happiness towards that Ninth Cup into a, a place where they feel good. Um, they're starting to put up their boundaries. You wouldn't know it, though. I don't feel like you would pick up on that because this is going on internally within this person starting to put up their boundaries because they're thinking about ending this and moving forward. I know some of you don't want to hear that, <clears throat> but I'm, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying what it is. I'm, I'm an Aries. I'm going to tell you as it is. I'm not going to sugarcoat things. However, what the silver lining is is the fact that we know what's going on with you there's fear that's coming up it's not that you don't want to be with this person it's not that you don't feel emotionally connected to the person it's more about kind of tending to why you do what you do and where it's coming from and heal that or fix that or mend that or whatever word that feels comfortable to you because if it's not this person it's going to be someone else it's a, it's a kind of pattern for, I, I can guarantee you you're resonating with this this is not like a one-off thing. It's not like this person, you know, out of everyone that you've met in your lifetime or had relationships with has suddenly, you know, you're, you're fearful of. It's more about once you get to a certain point in your, in your relationship, once you get to a certain level of connection, uh, vulnerability, whatever the case may be, you, then that kicks in for you. And if you've never experienced that, maybe you've just never come across someone who you felt comfortable to let your boundaries down with. So, yeah, you know, I would say definitely if, if, you're able, if you're able to do it, you know, communicate with this person, let them know what's up with you. And if you need time to deal with this, um, you know, who knows, you know, once you kind of express communication is, is the key to things. You know, it's like whether someone was ready to hear it or not. You've, you've made the effort to communicate and I feel like you might get a different response from this person because like I said they are starting to turn their back emotionally only because they're wanting to feel good everyone wants to feel good in a relationship you know no one wants to feel like um you know they're I don't want to rant guys I don't want to go on but you know I just want to kind of give you guys some information or some insight into certain things yeah, so hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. That's something that interests you. As they say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I shall see you next. Bye.